Start all set, 1200 meters. They sent on their way from the 1200 meter marker. And one of the first out of the gates, Chronological's right there. Fabergé style has a good position shortly after the start. So Bananas on the outside and Harvest Queen also with a good position. Daiquiri's trying to overcome a draw. Then comes Lala on the inside. Intergalactic, that's got the red cap. And it must be my auras racing about five or six lengths off the leader. As they move towards the 600 meter marker, Fabergé style, just the leader. Green sleeves and cap of Saw Banana is right there on the outside. Then comes Harvest Queen. Intergalactic's got the red cap near the rail. Then comes Chronological. Towards the outside, Harvest Queen now gets the reminder to get into the race. Lala's further back in the running. And then comes Chronological. Coming to the 300 and Fabergé style, the leader. Saw Banana's on the outside and Lala becomes a runner down the inside. Intergalactic. It's Fabergé style and Saw Banana on the outside. These are the two from Lala who's staying on. Fab J Star continues to find though, and Sobanani had to be taken up. Lala's down the inside, but Faber J Star won it. Lala second, Sobanana ran third, and Intergalactic ran fourth. Number two, Faber J Stahl is victorious. The St. Petersburg. For Sean Terry, Chris Van Niekerk, Smunga Kamado, and also Lala, as Sheldon said. Good place bet. Stays on nicely for second. Now take note of the run of Sobo Nanana. When we look at the head on, that will tell us more. That runs into third position. We saw Anthony Del Pesce just take her up for a stride or two. Intergalactic is staying on nicely. Further back is Chronological. And it's a well-detached field at the business end. It's a good couple of lengths back to Harvest Queen. We found no extra. And then still further back in the running. As I said, it was a really well-strung out field. It's number one, Daiquiri. Now, the horse with the blue cap is Faber J. Stahl. And take a look at the horse with the green sleeves and cap. It happens just inside the 150-meter marker. Faber J. Stahl stick in the left hand. So Bananas got, there we go. And... Yeah, just hold on to your tickets. I know it's a length and a half or so, but I suggest just hold on to your tickets. Lala stays on nicely with the white nose band on the left-hand side, but number two, Fabergé style is victorious. It ended up the toad favourite. It paid up at one rand seventy for number two, Fabergé style. This one was bred by Team Men Stables and wins at well. Now the second race is also on the poly. It's over 1,200 meters. It's the Noble Tune Quazulu Natal Breeders Juvenile Plate. It's a non-black type. We're on the poly again. It starts off our bipart. Until then, back to the studio. Oh, you just heard it from Craig. No further action. Race number one. This was the Summer Hill Stud Quazulu Natal Breeders Phillies Juvenile Plate, and uh, we have Linda Novell on course, and really nice to see her representing a Summer Hill Stud. And she's going to be doing the winning presentation and, of course, uh, a first uh, place uh, a check of uh, 10,000 rand, second place 5,000, third place 5,000, and fourth place also 5,000 to the winning owners. So great initiative here. But first up, let's have the winning uh, trainer who is uh, Sean Terry. He's uh, the winning trainer of Fabergé Style. There was a race review. Sean, before we do the presentation can we just have a few words with you and uh yeah you, you were a bit concerned the way she traveled but she came through the race uh, very well yes i think the tailwind might have helped us today um 1200 is a touch on the far side but uh, i think she was the class horse and um, i'm glad she's come through it you've seemed to place your horses nicely for this kzn uh, breeders day and you've got some nice runners coming up later on maybe you can point the guys in the right direction Yes, just a big thank you to KZN and Breeders for putting on a day like this on. I mean, it's a lot of money they're throwing around and one would be silly not to program decent horses for this race meeting, which I have done. Mm. And um, let's hope it, it bears fruits, but um, we've got one on the board. Um, I think Malik El Maluk in the next has a big chance. Uh, 1400 is probably a better trip for him, but we'll take our chances. I think Enchanted Silk must be a big runner. And I don't think you can leave anything out. Thanks for that, Sean. All the best uh, to uh, the winning uh, owners here who are team and stables. Uh, they're the proud owners. Uh, unfortunately, not with us today, but you can also accept on behalf of them. Is that the breeders? That's the breeders. Okay, thank you. Well done uh, to trainer Sean Terry, uh, the winning trainer here.
And of course, the winning owner, Mr. Chris Fenikak as well. And uh, that's uh, the winning owner's uh, sale voucher valued at 10,000 Rand. And well done to KZN Breeders. Throughout the afternoon, we'll be giving away these uh, checks and uh, Sean accepting on behalf of uh, breeder and owner. Next up, let's have uh, the winning jockey who is Samanga Kumalo. Samanga, nice start to the day. Yes, thanks, Liz. You got some uh, good rides coming up later on, so it's really nice to get one on the board. And, uh, you know, there was a race review concerning the latter stages, but you seem to have them beat uh, when you turn into the straight. Yes, you know, she, she was a, a bit green and she's new in this course. And, uh, you know, she traveled quite well up to the straight. And as she uh, think about the 400 already, she was looking to, uh, to hang out and I just tried to turn my stick to my left. And obviously, she being green, uh, I just have to try and get it to the line without uh, uh, causing any inter interference. Obvious, uh, the big supporter of yours throughout the season is Sean Terry. And you, you've got some nice rides for him later on, Samanga. Yes, I'm sure he had a touch on them, uh, uh, in touch on the silk, uh, Milak Maluk. I think those are my two next best, otherwise I'm going to be trying all the way. Well done, nice start to the day and uh, you know, all the best for the rest of the afternoon. Thank you again, big thanks to Mr. Terry and also to Mr. Funny Cake. Thank you very much for the support and also to my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine and uh, Vocha Post Drift. Well done and also to Breeders uh, Cup, well done to them too. Well done to the winning jockey who is Samanga Kumalo and uh, we've got uh, a Fabergé style that has come through to win and then the gentleman that takes care of Fabergé style is Maxwell Inunzela. Maxwell, you did an awesome job here with this uh, uh, daughter of St. Petersburg. Well done to the winning groom, Maxwell Inunzela. The breeders, team and stables, owner Chris Manikak, and of course, this daughter of St. Petersburg, trained by Sean Terry, partnered to Victory by Samanga Kumalo. A big thank you to Linda Novell from uh, Summerhill Stud coming up, uh, coming down, should I say, and helping us with the winning presentation. The favorite has landed in race number one. Coming up next will be the start of the exotics. It will be the first leg of this afternoon's bipod. The time to jot down will be 12.35, 25 to 1.